This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to add and modify media in Apple Motion 5.3. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to work with audio in motion. I'm going to click the Audio tab. Hmm. There's no audio yet in the project. So let's go back to the Media tab, grab our clip, and drag it in and drop it. And several things happen at once. The green bar appears in the mini timeline. In use means it's now in use in the project. And when I go to the audio tab, I see this new audio header. Let's make this wider so we can see what we have to work with. Notice that I've selected the clip, click below it to deselect it. If I wanted to delete the clip, I could from here by highlighting it. I'm going to make it blue just to make it easier to see. This allows me to adjust the audio level of the clip. Dragging left makes it softer, dragging right makes it louder. Click in the volume setting itself, type the volume you want. This is measured in decibels, it just doesn't say dB after it. If you want to change the name of the clip, click on it once and you can go ahead and change the name of the clip. You can switch it from hearing a stereo clip to just the left or the right channel or different sections of the surround sound clip. This one, nice to know it's there. I have never used it, but good to know nonetheless. This allows me to adjust pan, drag left, it pans the sound to the left, drag right, pans the sound to the right. To make it centered, I'm just going to change that to zero, which means centered between left and right. These four icons here, this top left one allows me to mute a clip, top right allows me to solo a clip. A critically important note, when you mute or solo a clip, its effect is only in playback. When you export the project, muted clips will export. So muting does not affect the export to a clip. To make a clip inaudible, uncheck the checkbox. When the checkbox is checked, you can hear the clip. When the checkbox is unchecked, all the settings remain the same, but you can't hear the clip. Checking this checkbox does affect export. Mute and solo do not affect export. This allows you to disconnect the link to a video clip. So if the audio comes in sync to video, you can unlink it by clicking this. And lock allows you to lock a clip so you can't move it or change it or change any of its settings or adjust levels. This is not a security lock. You're not adding passwords. It's just preventing dumb editing decisions. Okay, so there's my audio clip, and we can see that it's in the mini timeline. We can easily change the audio levels of the clip or change the pan, but that changes the pan for the entire clip by the same amount. Sometimes we want to be able to adjust the volume, like a fade in or fade out at the beginning of a clip, or maybe have the pan change during a clip. Now, truthfully, I use the audio fade in, fade out a lot. I've never adjusted the pan. If I'm going to do that kind of work, I'm going to move the audio into something that's a whole lot easier to work with, like Pro Tools or Adobe Audition or even Final Cut rather than Motion. Motion's not designed for audio mixing, but I can do things like a fade in and fade out, which gives some level of professionalism to my audio. Here's how. Select the clip, go to Behaviors, and say Audio. This allows me to pan during playback. Audio fade in, fade out. Let's show the HUD, which is F7. Show the HUD. Nothing selected. Let's select the audio clip. And now let's show... Oh, wait a minute. Where's the behavior? I, if I look on the layers, there's... There's no behavior. There's not even an audio clip there. How do I adjust the audio fade in and fade out of an audio clip? Well, it is relatively easy to do, but it is certainly not obvious. Let's go back to our audio clip and select it. And this time, we're going to open up the timing pane. F6 to display the timing pane, F6 to hide it. This allows me to see essentially a timeline of my clips. And notice that I've got my audio clip up here and the green bar appears in the timeline, but nothing shows up down below. And that's because there's two sections to the timing pane. Video, which we're looking at here by clicking this icon, and audio. Now when I click the audio, I see the timing pane for my audio clip. Now I've got it locked, so I'm going to unlock it so I can make changes. And just because I want to illustrate something, I'm going to drag the clip a little bit to the left so that I have handles. See that dark green bar there? That indicates handles before the in on my audio and handles after the out in my audio. 
with the audio clip selected. Now when I go to behaviors and say audio, fade in, fade out, it now adds a behavior for that audio which can only be applied when I'm looking at the audio inside the timing pane. I know, weird. So here's the second problem. If I select the behavior and show the HUD, there's my fade in and fade out, 20 frames. Let's make it uh, 15 frames for the top and two seconds for the end. Just to pick some arbitrary numbers, you could make them whatever you want. All right. If you were to play this, you would not hear the fades. And that's because... Notice the clip extends before the in, as does the behavior, and the clip extends after the out, as does the behavior. The behavior is applied to the entire duration of the audio, not the portion between the in and the out. So we have to fix that. Select the audio. Make sure your playhead is at the very beginning of the timeline. Type the letter I. Notice that both the audio and the behavior are trimmed to the in. Go to the end, press the end key, type the letter O to set the out. Notice that the handles are gone here. Now, when you play the clip, the fade in will fray it in for 15 frames at the top, and it will fade out for 60 frames at the tail. But you have to open it up inside the timing pane, click the audio portion to display the audio, and make sure both the audio and the behavior are trimmed to be contained inside the in and the out of the project. Clearly, if I grab the audio fade and drag it, say here, I won't hear audio before that. The fade will start here and fade out at the end. I can move my, my behavior, my object, and put it anywhere I want inside the clip. The fade in will start at the beginning of the behavior and end at the end of the behavior so that my fade will continue in both directions. But if you don't trim stuff within the audio timing panel first, you'll never get the audio fades to work. By the way, to get rid of an audio clip, I'll just close the, the HUD for a minute. F7 again toggles that on and off. To get rid of an audio clip, go to the Media tab and delete it from the Media tab. I want to have it go away. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to add and modify media inside Apple Motion 5.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 217. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.